Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 63153, Class Alpha, submitted by witness on Friday, July 25, 2019. Month, July date, 25th, State, Colorado County, Summit County. Location details. Stop at the paved parking lot off Colorado 91 to enter the dirt road up to Mayflower Gulch. Head south up the road at the closed cattle gate. Walk to the right past the wooden barrier fence up the trail past two switchbacks. The small white rock just below the snow wall is just beyond where the biped sought to scale the snow and could not. It descended laterally and moved briskly along very tilted hillside. This was very hard for me, Robert, and later Helen. Nearest town between Climax Pass and Cooper Mountain, Colorado. Nearest road, Colorado 91. Observed. On Thursday, July 25th, my girlfriend and I were hiking in Mayflower Basin south of Colorado 91. We were up in the basin and Helen had gone ahead to the foot of the basin. I was about 100 yards off the three minor log cabin remnants, sitting on a rock enjoying peanuts and water, when looking west I saw a very large brown biped approach the snow wall and seek to climb it. The biped was unable to climb up over 20 feet, moved back down laterally to its right and then down to the ground off the snow. It then walked on two legs very briskly to the right, subsequently out of my view. About four to five minutes later, a hiker with his dog came walking down the trail. And I later saw this brown biped from time to time walking above the snow cornice southbound. I did not see it again. Helen returned to me and we discussed what I had seen, then walked down to the locked gate where cars are prohibited into the basin to talk with the hiker. His name was Robbie. His dog's name is Dallas. We agreed to scale up the trail to where I had seen the brown biped. Helen took longer, but Robbie and I reached the area, found handprints in the snow in an arc, one print lower with three big fingers and one thumb. The footprints were not descriptive of toes. It had an arched heel. We took iPhone photos and will share if interested. We then traversed to right, then north on difficult terrain. That is quite slanted where the biped moved quickly and easily. There was no further sighting. This was now about 2.30 p.m. when I had seen the biped about 1.45 p.m. We returned to the dirt road and the parking lot by bushwhacking through the forest. Also noticed, brown biped south to scale snow wall, tried only once, then moved laterally to right off the snow, then moved very briskly to north, almost running. When Robert and I got there, very hard for us to traverse. He is 47 and Gulf War veteran. I am 46. And even with two ski poles for stability, I had a hard time traversing the terrain. Other witnesses? No one saw the biped. Robert and I saw hand marks in the snow. The footprints were above our reach. I was sitting on the rock in the basin eating peanuts and drinking water. My vision was tested the day before at the eye doctor. My vision is 2010. Other stories? Google Bigfoot in Summit County, Colorado. There were two sightings, 1998 and 2003. Also an article in the Summit County Daily News. There were multiple sightings in Park County to the south and Eagle County to the northwest that were reported in the 1800s. Time and conditions? Sighting 1.45 p.m. Travel to Snow Cornice and invest investigation of handprints in Snow Cornice about 2.30 p.m. Environment area is almost above the tree line. The Snow Cornice is facing east to southeast. Clear view from my position approximately 100 yards of three old miners log cabins in disrepair but about 600 to 750 feet higher. Clear view and clear weather with high broken clouds. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Scott Miles. 
After speaking with the witness on the phone and reviewing the photos that he provided via email, we made plans to meet at the siding location Mayflower Gulch, the Summit County site of the Boston Mining Company encampment, which was at its highest state of activity in the late 1880s. On Monday, August the 19th, I drove to the siding location with BFRO investigator Scott Walter. We met the witness late morning at the main Mayflower Gulch parking lot on Colorado 91, about five miles south of Cooper Mountain and a few miles north of Leadville. We drove the short distance from the parking lot via Forest Service Road back to the trailhead of Mayflower Gulch and hiked less than a mile back into the gulch to the exact location that the witness had his sighting. The sighting location is a high alpine valley dead ending in a bowl with 12,000 feet plus ridges around the south end. We stood at the white rock mentioned by the witness where he was sitting when he saw the large figure about two miles away. Witness standing next to the white rock and creature's position on Gold Hill Ridge indicated by red arrow. View is to the west.